Hi, my name is Bill and I have this wonderful house on El Monte Drive in Thousand Oaks. I'm going to take you on a tour of it. If you stay with me for a few minutes, so come on inside and we'll see what we can find here. These pavers are one of the features I really like about this property. Of course, we have these gates that are, uh, you can lock them up when you go away on trips and so forth. It adds a certain estate quality to the house that I really like. I want to point out these beautiful trees above us, these three redwood trees in front of the house in that circular drive. These stones are inspired, inspired by Portugal. We went on a trip there and I spent probably ten or twenty thousand dollars doing the landscaping on this to make it feel like Portugal. Along the, uh, the south end of the property we have about 300 feet of Conejo Creek. It's a year-round river. Even in July and August we have water there. These beautiful columns in front of the house. I'm going to leave Mole outside here. Mole, we'll come back for you. We'll come out and take a tour of the river in a minute. But let's come in inside right now. Look at this, this wonderful living room. It's a hardwood floor. It's oak, real oak, not veneer. Fireplace, windows at both ends that spill light into the room. That's a gas fireplace, incidentally. You don't have to chop logs if you don't want to. This comes into the family room or library. You can have billiards in here. And uh, this is the, the two bedrooms downstairs. We knocked this wall out here to, uh, to, to, to make one big room, but you, you don't need to do that. Uh, we, can, we can block this up if you want. And here we have a ladder. Well, I'm just gonna hide this away here and show how easy it is. So that's how it disappears. But this goes into an attic. It's 560 square feet. Go on up there and see if you can look around. Um, I was going to convert that, and if, behind you, if you knock the wall out, it will uh, open up into the master bedroom, so you can have a really large space, really large master bedroom. Uh, wonderful doors here that go into the garden. We come through the living room again, and we'll go into the kitchen. One of the things I really like about this house is the country kitchen. It's a large kitchen, terracotta floors. We have reverse osmosis, so you have pure water all the time. An island uh, stove in the middle. And one of the things I like here is this door. In the summer and the spring, we leave this open all the time. It just is a, it connects to the garden. I'm gonna close it now because we're making this video in the winter. And through here is a laundry room. It's connected to the kitchen, washer and dryer. This door opens up into the garage, it's on the right. And straight ahead, you have about a thousand square feet of storage space for an RV. I keep my lawnmower there, my garden tools. It's always nice to have a place in a yard where you can kind of keep things out of the way. Um, out of view. And then this is the downstairs bathroom. This goes into this room here. Technically this might be called bedroom number three. We had two bedrooms we saw. There were there's ones connected ones earlier. Uh, I'm using this as an office space but it does have a closet. And technically it's a bedroom so it's bedroom number three. And this opens up into the house again so it could also make a nice dining area. And watch this. This is a fantastic room. It saved me a lot of money across the years. I go to Costco and fill up an SUV with $500 worth of food. This room easily absorbs all of it. It saved me a lot of money and it's just fun to do because whenever you want to cook, you have something there. We're going to go upstairs now and as we come upstairs, I want to point out this wonderful um, uh, uh, tailor-made metalwork, this wrought iron that's on both sides of the stairs. It's an original with the house and I don't think they can do that kind of labor anymore. This is the master bedroom. One of the features of the master bedroom that's, that's, uh, that I really like is this 16-foot balcony here that opens up onto the uh, side of the property facing the park. And that's Conejo Creek, uh, Conejo Creek North Park that we're looking at. It's 44 acres. It has sandboxes and soccer and all of those kinds of things. So it's great for kids. I have an exclusive entrance that goes into that. And then we have this uh, closet, walk-in closet with a, uh, a desk, a computer in there, I have it set up now. Double vanity, bathroom, shower, tub. So that's bedroom number four. And here is a, uh, a bathroom for the kids. It's got dual sink, the mirrors are different heights, in case you have kids of different, different heights. It's bedroom number five here. So there's three, three bedrooms upstairs and three downstairs. This is a very spacious room here that some have, have thought could be even a master bedroom. And one of the cool things about this is it's got a giant closet. It doesn't show up in the video, but it's, uh, if you go off to the right, it can put a couple mattresses down there. My kids wanted to put their bedroom in there. 
We have uh, uh, books upstairs, bookshelves. And watch this, this is a balcony here. No house has this. Beautiful sunrise this morning. This is the front of the house and you can't even see, you can't even see the street from the house. We set up the landscaping in such a way that we just, just, it's just completely private. Now we're gonna go downstairs. That's pretty much the house tour. Three bedrooms downstairs, three upstairs. Of course, you can purpose those as offices like I did uh, in that one room. We're going through the living room now. We're gonna go out the front door and walk along the river trail that's exclusive on the property. Let me let Mole come with us here. It's a great house for dogs or for kids. Um, you can park a lot of cars out here, incidentally. We've had up to 10 cars out here. And you do it in such a way that no, no car blocks any other car. This is the trail going down to the river. In the spring, one of the wonderful things is the, uh, the ducks, the mallard ducks come here and they lay their eggs. And they have little yellow chicks in the water. My kids would come down here and feed them. There's crawdads in the water too. There was a goldfish down there for a couple of years, but he's not there anymore. It's crystal clear water. It's two feet deep right here where I'm walking. And again, it runs year round. July and August, during the summer, it has water, which is pretty extraordinary for California. I have a total of about half a mile of trails on the property. I added it up, it's about 2,000 feet of trails. We have a private gate that goes into Conejo Park North. It's a lock, lockable gate. They, that park, they shut it down at night. They lock it up. And so it, I feel that it comes a, becomes an extension of my house because I can walk through my private gate, take my dog over there, and just walk around. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to have all that property available and not have to pay taxes on it. It's a very spacious feel here. This area here, is, we use it as a basketball court, but we also had a band set up here and had a, had a dance here. So you can use that for a lot of things. My kids also use it for handball at one time. And one of the things, uh, another thing I like about this property, it's got all of these trails that are areas where you can just walk and be. It's nice to have that with a family because everybody can, you know, go to a different place at a different time. You don't get cabin fever. You don't get in each other's ways. And now we're coming up on a rose garden here. We're making this film in the uh, in the in the in the winter, so the roses are not the, the uh, roses are not in bloom. But imagine in the spring and the summer, coming here and of all these roses, I think there's like 20 different varieties here in bloom. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the fruit trees. Look at these, look at these lemons. I have oranges, I have kiwis, I have grapefruit over there, walnuts, um, just a lot of plants. Look at this, look at this rose. Isn't that exquisite? I picked these for my wife uh, during, the, uh, during the season and just put them in the house when we have company and so forth. Grape arbor we're going under. In October, this has, this is just filled with, uh, with grapes, the sweetest purple grapes you can imagine, seedless. And this is my favorite room in the house right here. Well, before I go there, let me show you why. It's got this wonderful fountain. It just makes a wonderful sound. Let's listen to that. And my favorite room is this one right here. Half of the year, I'm just right here. I have my, uh, have my book here, I have my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner um, with the fountain, with the beautiful trees. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place to be. We're gonna go into the house now. And again, these doors are double doors that open up that spill into the yard. We're gonna go through the kitchen now to the living room and I see there's a fire burning here. Well, it's nice to be back home. You know, I raised my family here and uh, it was a great experience. If I were to start out again, I would buy the same house back. And I'm glad you can come and take a tour with me. I hope you have a chance to come by and see it in person. Come by, maybe we can have a glass of wine together. Maybe this could be your next home. Thank you very much for walking the house with me.